Primark haul. Holding the bag up. Nice. Okay, let's get straight into it. Now, oh, you have to do something. Excuse the way I look and all of that. Now, I tell you what, I wanted to get straight into it. Um, purely because you might be able to pick some of these bits up. And we all know Primark sort of goes in, goes out. So, we've out any further ado with me and my gyms again it's getting a bit of a thing isn't it i'm getting a bit complacent no hair done no makeup done <sighs> got my pajama on i've got silky pajama buttons on the bottom but other than that no i can't be bothered right okay uh primark haul where we go okay i've got these and one of the other reasons I wanted to get straight into this um, as soon as possible with the uh, sales is because some of this was reduced, but bearing in mind, some of it wasn't. Now, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say some of this was bought before any sale in Primark, which was full price. Some is now reduced. That's better. Uh, so I thought if I let you know. Oh dear, excuse me. You can get yourself over there. Have a little look round. See what you think. And they do go quickly, don't they? Now, I didn't pay £4 for these. I paid £2. Basically, a pair of nice just blue pumps. Uh, you know, you, you can't go wrong, can you? I mean, you know, that's a, a pound a shoe. <laughs> Great maths there, Einstein. And I, I just thought they'd be really nice uh, with uh, some, you know, like white palazzo trousers or uh, a long maxi dress and just something. Oh, that was a bit of a whistle, wasn't it? And just something comfortable and practical. And, you know, uh, they did still have these over at uh, Lakeside. I've. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. I have popped to a couple of three Primarks, so, uh, you know, just letting you know that. Okay, what else did we get? I've got a pair of shoes. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, this is for another haul. Sorry. Let's pop them over there. You haven't seen them, right? Shh, keep it quiet. I honestly, I'm going to have a cup of coffee at up. You know, it's a pair of shoes that I want to show in my uh, other haul I've got. And I, I just act so weird. I need a time out, don't I? Right. Okay. <laughs> Goodness knows why anyone watches my videos, but thanks. Okay. £2.50. I bought... Just a little plain brown vest top. I find I can always get black, beige, nude, grey, red, white, but I can never find brown. So when I saw this in there uh, for £2.50, I was really pleased. Basically, it's just a little vest top. So I really enjoy these for going underneath things. I, I don't tend to wear them on their own anymore. Um, but uh, I, I do love wearing them underneath things. Uh, okay, on to suckies. I bought some of these uh, a while ago. I don't know if it was in my last Primark haul or the uh, one before. But I liked them so much when I saw them. Uh, basically, pretty obviously, I bought another set. Uh, they've washed well, dried well. And um, I just think, you know, £2.50 uh, for seven pairs of trainer socks. Well, that's just... That's great, isn't it? Can't go wrong. Um, I did get these just before Christmas. So this was one of those. So that was, a, yeah. So I did get these just before Christmas. So I don't honestly know if they're still there. But getting Christmas socks isn't difficult, is it? You know, at this time of year or even approaching um, the next Christmas. So um, I actually bought these for my daughter as well. So uh, we both got um, uh, these socks. So basically just little assortment. Um, I don't think I can really show you that well, can I? Uh, sort of mistletoe, uh, little stripes on there. I don't even know what that says. Was it very what? Very merry or very merry. 
so uh, yeah. Then the red pear is naughty, naughty or nice. That one has just got, I don't know if it's lights or bubbles or bubbles, I'm not sure. Little gingerbread men, little candy canes, and I did think the little Rudolphs was rather sweet, and they were £2.50. You might still be able to get these, I'm not sure, perhaps in a bigger one. Although having said that, um, I often find that I can pick up quite a lot of bits in the smaller Primark actually, but yes, I got those. Um, this one, I'm just, I'm going to be really, really honest, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this, I just, I don't know, but I saw it and I, I thought that is just so, so cute, I do love little Bambi, um, when my mum was alive it was a, uh, one of the things she did love, she loved little Bambi and you know, I saw this and um, I just thought, how much is this, £3.50, I can put it in with all my hairbrushes, combs and I'm probably going to use it once, just so, yes I did use it, I didn't just buy it, but uh, th this kind of thing they have all the time, anything from Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, all sorts, Aristocats, you name it, they've normally got something in there. So I, I just really liked it. I don't, oh, sorry, I don't know if I even showed that properly. I'm sure I did, but there you go. And it's just got that nice, um, especially for, for, for long hair. Uh, it's, it's great, doesn't pull the hair. So yeah, I got that. Uh, I did get um, a bit of a boring item. And I did buy two of these, but I didn't quite honest, I needed to use them. So I opened one pack. And quite a boring item, but I just really needed some. Uh, some of mine had broken, and uh, things just wear out eventually, don't they? And my other ones I'd bought from the um, uh, pound shop. So I, I don't know if they were a different brand made, who they're made by, I don't know. But um, I thought, well, I'll, I'll give these Primark ones a go. And they were uh, £2.50, or £2.80 for 10 non-slip hangers and these ones do actually have the movable hook whereas the other ones I bought didn't and I don't know if where I'd moved it and it shouldn't have been that's why they ended up not lasting that long so uh, yeah and that was sorry that was for 10 so I, I but I did buy two packs but I, I needed to to use one pack so we've only got one in there that's a bit obvious isn't it sorry <laughs> Uh, I'll just keep them in there for now. Have a little mouthful of coffee. Then, um, hmm. that's it. What else did we get? I'll take that one in a minute. Oh, I don't know what that's. Oh, oh yeah, no, I know what that is. I, I would just mention, I bought a Primark Advent calendar. Uh, this year, I bought anything from. I'm going to do a video on it just to do something a bit different in the new year, you know, or February, March, January, whenever I do it. And I did buy an advent calendar from Primark. I've never done that before. Um, I did my usual buying, you know, a fancy beauty one, a sweetie one. I bought a Disney sock one. I'm a bit advent calendar mad. I made one. Oh, dear, I need to have a word at myself, honestly. But I really fancied the idea of... Um, a jewellery one and I saw this and it was £10 and I'd like to say you know it didn't look like this it was far bigger and it had uh, all of these uh, jewellery bits in and there was a silver version which I wish I'd got so I've got to say if next year they're doing this over at the uh, Bigger Lakeside store well I'm gonna be Fred Flintstone in it get in there I'll have one of your advent calendars. I might even take two. Thanks very much, mate. Get in. That side. I just thought it was great. I, I do actually have the advent calendar to show you. That makes sense. But I kept that and I am going to keep it just as I don't forget how much um, I paid. And I've got to say, I wasn't even remotely disappointed with it. I thought, I thought it was banging, if I'm being honest. I was like buzzing, you know. It was, Oh, come on, you're in your 50s. Stop doing all of that. Right. Moving on, moving on. I've also got 
uh, from Primark, obviously, because it's a Primark haul. Ooh. I got these, and they were two pounds. And I don't know about any of you that wear bras, but sometimes I have a dress, uh, not the t-shirts. I, I just say I don't tend to wear the um, vest tops on their own. I, I, I'm a bit more sort of a a blouse or a very loose t-shirt I mean this is a Christmas one but but anyway what I liked was the way I'm gonna bring that right forward with my saw fingers let's make sure you can see that I can now what I really liked about it was some of my dresses are um, you know just got straps a bit like a bra you know they've got a bra strap bit but they're slightly more cut in and I've tried getting a bit of ribbon, which is a fantastic way of doing it. I was quite pleased with the idea of just tying a bit of ribbon and pulling the bra. But sometimes as the day goes on, it comes undone. So, when I saw this, I thought, well, I'm going to give this a go for the summer. So basically, it's called a racer back converted clip. It could be absolute rubbish, but at least I didn't feel robbed for two pounds. So I thought it'd be really handy for some of those outfits, just where those, you need a bra... And you think, oh, I don't want to wear a strapless bra. I, can't, oh, I, want, I, want, a, I want a bra bra. And uh, yeah, so going to give that a go. Let's see what's what. Now this, <laughs> which is, seems to be coming off, I've got to do a little craft project with. What I'm going to do is take this apart, deconstruct it. I don't want to say I, my daughter will. And I'm going to get my daughter to join the pearl bit. So the gold necklace, so that basically a pearl bit sits there and the gold necklace bit sits there. Bought that. Uh, cardigans. A bit of a cardigan situation. And I got this nice green one. And let me just put that on for you. It's quite, it's pushed the chair back. Oh, that's it. Right, let's turn around, show you what it looks like. Let's put that over there. Okay, it's basically just a nice green, uh, big baggy cardigan, nice and cosy. Uh, it's got a hood somewhere tucked in there. Yeah, it's got a nice hood if you want to uh, use that. And yeah, I just thought this was a, a really great cardigan. Not too thick. Not too thick. If you're looking for a really thick, warm cardigan, this. This isn't it. I don't know if you can see me. Sorry if I'm a bit cut off there, but I just thought I'd show you, you know, some of these bits tried on. So actually, if I move the chair here like that, I can move back and then you can see it properly. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so just a really nice cardigan. Would look better without pyjamas and an elf uh, t-shirt, but we're going with it. So really, really liked that. And that was... These are still in stock, by the way. Uh, oh, I seem to put, that's not like me. Oh, perhaps I picked up the right size for once. Anyway, uh, that was £13. And it, I must say, it feels really lovely and soft. Just a really nice uh, cardigan there. There you go. Just so you can get to, to see, see what that looks like off. So, yeah, I uh, got that. And then uh, another cardigan I bought. Uh, this was uh, £15 and this was in the brown and this is one of those uh, I wonder what that was I've always struggled just to find a brown cardigan you know I don't know if I'm going to keep the belt on or not I'm, I'm not sure but but it's uh, got like you know balloon sleeves and uh, you know not everyone's a cup of tea but not, as I say, I might, I might remove the belt, I'm not sure, I, I do tend to just like them, you know, jigging about, I do like them loose, but really big, big balloon sleeves, just sort of touches the bum area, so just sort of covers it, I don't know why that matters, but you know what I mean, so yeah, just nice, no pockets on this one, but really, really comfy, and this is much warmer, much, much warmer, so lovely, uh, okay, what do you call it? Um, cable net, cable net. So, uh, cable net. So, let me just show you that off. Uh, no hood on this one. So, gorgeous chocolate brown. 
oh sorry I, did, I didn't say it's actually plain at the back so plain at the back so this cable balloon knit sleeve and like a cable knit there and a belt and if you're handy with a, a little pair of scissors or a needle as long as you don't cut through the, the knitted bit you, you can move the belt if you like I'm, I'm in an R and I'm not sure what to do but I just thought did you say 13? oh no sorry 15 that was 15 pounds that one a great cardigan for that price I don't, I don't think that's too bad so uh, how we doing well, that's it right now this one, I think I wanted a nice baggy look. What did I do with this? I don't know, I can't remember now. Yeah, I went for a baggy one. Nine pounds. I just wanted a plain, simple black cardigan that I could throw on. I've got a nice, uh, you know, sort of cashmere one. And to be honest, I don't find it that. I know everyone loves all this cashmere business. And I got one in the sale years ago. I don't wear it. I just, I, I, I don't know, it just, where was this? I saw it and I thought, lovely, that'll do for me. Quite long, about thigh length. Fairly, uh, but as I said, I did go up in sizing because uh, I'm not hung up about sizes. I buy any size depending, and I often buy the wrong size, but I just buy what I think. I want it to fit like I don't care about sizing I just I just want to feel all right in whatever I'm wearing and yeah so my poor old other black cardigan it's seen better days it's been replaced with this and uh, yeah nine pounds pockets and it is thin so it's not one of those uh, you know gonna keep you cozy probably more for layering but sometimes I don't always want a thick cardigan so just a simple easy to wear throw on kind of cardigan and yeah nine pounds that was didn't think that was too bad last two items and although they're very similar i feel they're very different oh i've made a note in here what's that about oh, hang on we've got one of my notes in a minute primark advent calendar i've mentioned that oh. and i will be reusing the bags it says wrapping paper but I'm going to use it throughout the year uh, for, uh, well, wrapping things up, basically. That's oh, that nice, isn't it? Having a chat with me. I don't know. That's it. God, that's why you watch me, some of you. I really don't know. Now, I saw this. This could well be re released. <laughs> Reduced by now. But, whatever. Don't care. I save money elsewhere. So, if it is reduced, fine. But I have to say... In the two Primarks I went, this was the only size of mine that I saw. So the coats might be cheaper now, they might not, but that doesn't mean they've got my size. So, uh, you know, I'm really pleased I, I, I bought it and I still think £35 for what I call, this is a really thick, heavy coat. Perfect for the winter because it gets, it gets colder here in January, I, I will say. And it's just a, a, a nice, nice sort of coat. It would obviously look better if I looked a bit better. I, uh, I enjoy the way that it just hangs. Just, you know, give me a little, uh, little twirl of that. I think it, it's just really nice. It just feels, um, uh, you know, I think with a nice scarf, uh, bag maybe cream underneath it I mean you could play safe and go beige or grey uh, I, I just think it is just it's great I, I really really liked it and I was prepared to you know pay the £35 for it because I, I just thought it was great I'd seen one um, similar in, a, in another shop and oh I, it was either 110 or 120 and I, I can't justify that. Ooh, I've got coats coming out my ear rolls. And, but this, I, I just, ripped pink, that's what the main thing I wanted it for. I wanted to put it with really soft pink. And I spoilt myself. So, yeah, I got that. I'm going to uh, really enjoy wearing that. Really, And it's a nice change from black, isn't it? 
I think, you know, we often always do black coats and um, to get something a bit different. Look at my barnet, honestly. And finally, I've got another coat. This is actually to replace my um, my beigey sort of coat, Sin Better Days. This one was £30. I've seen a few left here and there in Primarks, but it's often hit and miss, you know. I think we all know that, don't we? I'm going to try this on for you as well. And once again, I think this would look uh, absolutely uh, fantastic with, hopefully you can see that, with, uh, what do you call it, you know, like creams, pinks, and, you know, even navy blue I thought would look great, or green, and, you know, good old faithful black. But um, it's, it's just a, a nice loose-fitting, nice loose-fitting coat, and I, I really loved it. And if I'm being honest, you know, when I think I nearly, nearly bought the uh, expensive one uh, that I'd seen and then thought, oh no, I'm not going to pay that. Uh, sorry, yeah, just, you know, so as you can see, yeah, it's got pockets and I didn't show you, did I? Just, just a little standard coat. Uh, yeah, you know, considering what I, I nearly paid for this brown coat, well, I've got, you know, one at 30, one at 35, so we've got 65 pounds, yeah, 35, 30, yeah. And um, that is still a fraction of what one could have cost me. So, you know, with everything I got, I'm really, I'm really chuffed. So, yeah, some is uh, in the sale, some's for project, and some I'm going to wear probably straight away, actually. But uh, just thought I'd share it with you. And um, well, that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'm going to up my game soon and put some makeup on and uh, look a bit tidier rather than coming on here in my gyms. It's poor Cheryl chap, isn't it? Coming on in your gyms. Don't know where that's just come from. I've only had a cup of weak coffee, honestly. Look, I'm going to go. I really appreciate you watching uh, my video. I hope you like it. If so, like. And if you think, oh, I think I'll come and watch that silly old boot again, I'd appreciate you subscribing. If not, I just appreciate you stopping by. And, uh, you know, uh, look after yourselves. I'm going to lean forward, press that red button, do a bit of a wave at the same time, and uh, look forward to doing another video for you soon. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye now. Bye.